What's up, y'all? As y'all can see, I'm out here at the range doing some more testing. And as you can see by the title, we're doing something a little different here. We're kind of doing a revisit and mixing it up a little bit on something we've tested before. As usual, got the jelly contraption with the chrono and two blocks of gels. Now, I've done a couple tests in this first block here, and I got kind of more to the middle than I wanted with one, so I've got them flipped around. Now, what we're working with, as y'all can see, is these Sierra Outdoor Masters again, the 115s and the 124s. Uh, if y'all remember, I've tested these out of a three and a half inch barrel, and they both did absolutely terrible. I mean, absolutely terrible for hollow point performance. No kind of expansion on them whatsoever out of a three and a half inch barrel from either one of these weights um, and like I talked about in that video a three and a half inch barrel is not that small that's that's about average or more than what a lot of people are carrying these days so just absolutely terrible performance so I figured we'll give it one last chance to redeem itself so what we're working with here today we're stepping up to barrel length big time we're working with an eight inch barrel 8R9 uh, to be specific the basket of deplorables figure y'all might get a kick out of that one I've had this one for a while I hadn't done a lot of videos with it so we're working with the basket of deplorables AR9. Now I feel like they have to expand out of this eight inch barrel. If they can't expand out of this eight inch barrel, they are absolutely the worst nine millimeter hollow points to date that I have tested. Hopefully this one will be pretty interesting, something different for sure anyway. So let me get everything set up and let's get started. All right, y'all, let's get us some speed from these things. Gonna start out with the 115ers first. I'm gonna do a five round average on both of these. Uh, so we should have a good speed average on it for sure. So 115 grains out of the eight inch AR9. Here we go, y'all. 1328. 1333. 13.32. 13.30. And 1313, if they can't expand off of that speed, then something is definitely wrong with them. Let's check out the average on that. All right, so the five round average is 1,327 feet per second. So significantly more than they were out of that handgun test for sure. So let me reset it. Let's try the 124s. All right, let's try these 124s. I'm gonna get five rounds on these also. So I'm expecting some good speeds on these too. Here we go, y'all. 1166, 1163, 1192, 1168, and 1193. So definitely some good speeds on that also. Let's check that average out. All right, so the five round average on the 124s was 1176 feet per second. And if you remember off the 115s, it was 1327. So you're talking about 151 feet per second faster out of the 115s versus the 124. So that ought to be pretty interesting to see what that equals in the jail. Let me get y'all reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's last chance jelly time. Uh, we're gonna start out with the 115 grainers out of the eight inch AR9. Now this thing's hitting about three inches low being up this close, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but should be all right. No matter where it lands, I'll give y'all some different angles, so we should be able to check it out. I'm hoping this thing expands really nicely and stops in the first block. So let's see what we get, y'all. I went a little too high. I was trying to compensate for, for it being, being uh, hitting low. Let's try that again. All right, take two on that. <laughs> like I say, I compensated too much, but let me move it down a little bit and let's see what we can do here. All right, there we go. That was a good one. Let's go down there and make sure that was in and we can see it good enough. All right, that one stayed in for sure. Had a very nice wound channel, but I'll tell you what, I still don't think this thing expanded fully, even out of this eight inch barrel. It, I mean, y'all see how far it went. Uh, and just from what I can see, it's not expanded fully still out of this eight inch barrel moving that fast. So let's see what this 124 does. Uh, I'm gonna try to put this one as low as I can without going out the bottom of the block. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, well, that wasn't what I wanted. It didn't go out the bottom, but it's, it's still touched off. It may have touched that bottom. I can't tell really, uh, but you can't see the wound channel good. So we're going to take another one. I tell you what, it's tricky with the point of impact being so low up close like this. So let's see if I can move it up some without getting too high in those other tracks. Here we go. 
All right, I think that one went high enough and still stayed low enough where we can still see what's going on. Let's go down there and check out and see what happened. All right, y'all, let's take a look at this mess we got down here. So uh, we got one 115 in here and we got two 124s. The 115 is this one right there. The track running there, really nice wound channel. You can see it, it comes into another one where it came in the other way on a different test, but it keeps on trucking way out here, almost halfway into this second block. And I can just tell it's not expanded anywhere close to what you would expect. Um, so that's the 115. The 124s, the first one is down here on the bottom. I don't know how you can how good you can see it, but it looks like it maybe touched the bottom down here and then kind of rebounded back up and kept trucking way out here. I mean, it's three quarters into this other block and it's barely expanded at all. So that definitely wasn't really a good test. So, but the second one, 124 is a perfect test and you see it there and you can see the smallness of the wound channel compared to the 115 that shows you how much less that expanded so the wound channel there now granted still a nice wound channel went went out of the 16 inch and again it stopped almost right here where that first 115 is almost halfway into this second block of gel so and i can tell you we're gonna pull these projectiles and look at them but i can tell you these things are terrible terrible as far as expansion goes out of an eight inch barrel these things are absolutely pathetic rounds um let me get the uh, penetration measurement on them and then we'll look at the projectiles all right so for penetration the 115 is out here at 22 and a half inches the first 124 that touched off the bottom that's definitely not a valid test that thing went out here to 26 inches the other 124 that is a good test is 22 and three quarters inches so you're talking about 22 and a half on the 115 22 and three quarters on that 124 and i'm gonna pull these projectiles and we're gonna look at them but i can just tell you they are absolutely pitiful when it comes to expansion all right y'all let's take a look at these pathetic things i mean th these things are absolutely awful y'all right here is the 115 i mean look at that barely any kind of expansion barely any kind of mushrooming out of that lid and then here's the 124 it's even worse I mean, these things are absolutely horrible. That's out of an eight inch AR9, y'all. That is absolutely terrible. Terrible performance for a hollow point. Absolutely pathetic. Let's get some really quick measurements on them here. Uh, I hate to even waste time on these things. I'm just so disgusted with how bad these things are, but uh, let's try the 115 first. The 115 is sitting at 115.2. Now the 124s, this one is 124 on the dot. This one is 124.6, so no no loss of any kind of material, and I figured that because I couldn't see anything out here in the gel. So as far as expansion size, here's where it's just, I mean, it, it goes downhill fast. So 0 0.422, 0 0.41, 0 0.406. Now that was the 115. Uh, this one we won't even measure. That's a little tiny bit smaller. That's the one that, uh, that nailed off the bottom there. 407. 410 and 418. So like I said, just horrible expansion on these. You're talking about what, four or five hundredths of an inch? I mean, that's just, that's just absolutely terrible. And that's out of an eight inch barrel, y'all. Um, I just thought for sure with those speeds, you know, we'd be getting some kind of expansion. Now, some people may say, well, maybe they're they're meant for hunting rounds. I mean, yeah, if you want to hunt, uh, if, if you want to hunt with a nine millimeter, by all means, go for it. These would definitely do the job. And, and these would even do the job if you had to use them uh, against a hostile target. Target. Uh, but as far as home defense, especially, you're talking about massive over penetration. These things are just absolutely terrible. You may as well just use the FMJ because we've done FMJ nine millimeter tests that don't go any further than this, the round nose one. So there's no way that I would buy any more of these and I would not suggest anybody pay the uh, hollow point kind of money for these rounds, especially if you're going to be using them for self-defense. All right, y'all, there's another one down. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm totally disappointed in this test. Uh, the rounds performed absolutely horribly. Uh, it, it messed up my other block of gel. It's gonna make my other tests I had planned today difficult and hard to see. Just just an awful test. <laughs> this was just an awful test. I'm, I'm completely disappointed in this jelly test. I wanted to give these Sierra rounds the benefit of the doubt, try a longer barrel with them, but there was no redemption here. It just confirmed that these rounds absolutely suck. In 
my opinion, these rounds are absolutely useless. You can, you can use a full metal jacket and get the same results that you saw here off of these uh, hollow point rounds. I can tell you for sure, I will not be doing any more testing with these things. Longer barrel, shorter barrel, I don't care what size barrel. I'm not wasting one more second of my time testing these absolutely pathetic rounds. They are absolutely terrible. But y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on it down below in the comments. Like I say, of course they would, you know, they would take care of what needed to be taken care of. But as a hollow point defensive round, especially in a home defense situation where you might be worried about over penetration, these things are just awful. They're awful. But let me know what y'all think about them down in the comments. But if you enjoy the video as always, make sure you reach down, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon. So when I upload new videos, you can get notified and check them out. I really appreciate that. Check my Amazon affiliate store for Front link down in the description like i always ask you if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up first go straight through amazon from there like normal it don't cost you any extra money and anything you buy anywhere on amazon after hitting that link first i get a kickback from amazon towards the channel so i really appreciate that appreciate all my range game members who reached out and hit that join button that helps a lot and i thank y'all for that thank you to each and every single one of y'all who watch my videos thumbs up subscribe to the channel and like i said leave me some comments down below what do you think about these things as far as i'm concerned this just confirmed that these are the worst nine millimeter hollow point defensive rounds made period bar none these are absolutely the worst but let me know what y'all's thoughts are down in the comments on them i'm gonna try to squeeze out a few more tests even though the jelly's pretty taken up i think i got some room on that other block to get a few more done so make sure y'all stay on the lookout for those and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon